Today I'm talking about the cut songs from the Mean Girls musical that didn't make it into the Mean Girls movie. There's so many things I could talk about comparing the Mean Girls musical to the Mean Girls movie and having seen it a few days ago I really want to hone in on the cut songs first before I can even move on with my analysis of the other changes that were made. So in this video I'm gonna be talking about all of the songs that were cut and then I'm gonna rate the songs out of five for how much they were missed for me. Five being I missed them in the movie and one being I didn't miss them. I'm gonna go chronologically in the order of the show. First they cut It Roars and they've replaced it with a new song called What Ifs. It Roars is the opening song that Katie sings when she's in Africa, finds out she's moving to the suburbs in the US and It Roars was fine. So if they had cut that song altogether, I would have probably given it a three out of five. Like I could take or leave It Roars, but I wasn't a fan of the song that they replaced it with because it was boring and not exciting. It really just shows that Katie was pretty bland at the beginning. It Roars was replaced with a song I didn't really like. So I think I'm gonna give It Roars a two out of five. Didn't really miss it. And also I did not like What Ifs, the replacement song. Next is Where Do You Belong? The song that Damien sings to Katie to introduce all of the different groups in the cafeteria. This is a 5 out of 5, meaning I very much missed this song. It was my most missed cut song of the movie from the musical. I remember when I saw the musical in its pre-Broadway tryout and on Broadway thinking that Where Do You Belong is the first big number really an homage to the original film and you really get to see Damien and the ensemble shine. So seeing this just quickly glossed over and quick dialogue in the movie, they even cut out a bunch of the clicks in the dialogue of the film, was a disappointment. But at least we'll always have the Mean Girls Tony performance to rewatch to appreciate Where Do You Belong. Next is Meet the Plastics, specifically the whole first half or more of the song because they cut out Gretchen and Karen's part and the part when all three of them are singing together and they only left in Regina's part. And while I get that they wanted this big reveal of Regina coming in, it kind of defeats the purpose of Meet the Plastics when we only have Regina singing. So the song should have been renamed altogether if we were only meeting Regina in the song. I'm gonna give this a four out of five for Meet the Plastics, the original version, because it was missed. Next is Stupid With Love Reprise, which is Stupid With Love again, but this time Aaron Samuels reciprocates and sings that he might be falling in love with Katie too. This one is a one out of five. I didn't really miss this one. I'm not really a big Stupid With Love fan in general, and I wasn't really a fan of Aaron Samuels in the new movie. So him singing Stupid With Love, I don't think would have added much difference to my enjoyment of Stupid With Love. So I'm gonna rate this as a one out of five. This was not missed. Next is Fearless, and I'm gonna rate this a five out of five. Was This one was very missed because this is the act one finale of the show. It's this huge moment. It happens right after Katie tells Regina that you can't sit with us and Regina storms off and says, take a picture, it'll last longer. Then Fearless starts. But instead we just get an abrupt black screen in the film. Whereas Fearless hit this big cafeteria dance number. And while I get that we just had a big dance number with Revenge Party, Fearless like brings it all together, celebrates everybody in the cafeteria. So the fact that they cut both big cafeteria numbers, where do you belong? and Fearless, both of them were big losses. Now moving into the act two songs that were cut, Stop, Damien's song that he sings to Katie when she starts ignoring her friends and being all about her phones and her followers and likes. This one I'm gonna give a four out of five, three out of five, four out of five. My first gut is to give it a three out of five. I could have taken it or leave it, like Stop is okay as a song. However, the fact that they cut both Where Do You Belong and Stop, both of Damien's songs hurts. So I'm gonna bump us up to a four out of five because this was missed. Damien having a big solo number in this film in general was missed. That being said, it is nice that they gave Damien some solo verses in Apex Predator because in the musical only Janice sings those parts, but still that doesn't make the blow of Where Do You Belong and Stop being cut any less difficult to bear witness to. Particularly since seeing Tony nominated Jaquel as Damien was one of the things I was looking forward to the most about this film. Next is What's Wrong With Me reprise which is a duet with Gretchen and Regina George's mom. As much as I liked the song in the show, I think it would have interrupted the pacing of the film to have a callback to that original song in act one, the first half of the movie. So this is a two out of five, didn't really miss it that much. Next is Whose House Is This, which is the song that they sing at the house party. Overall, this house party scene was pretty short, so this would have just added to it and made the film seem unnecessarily long. So as much as it's a fun act two number in the musical, I think it made sense to cut it for the film so that we could move on to World Burn, I'd Rather Be Me, etc. the more high profile act two pivotal songs. And so for Whose House Is This, I think I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Like I did miss it, but I do understand that for pacing reasons, they just cut it. 
Next is More Is Better, which is a ballad that Erin and Katie sing in her bedroom during the party. This is a one out of five, did not miss a song at all. It's my number one most skipped song when I listened to the cast recording for the Mean Girls musical, which means that yes, they did cut both of Erin Samuels' songs, Stupid With Love and More Is Better. But again, for the pacing, I'm glad that the scene in the bedroom didn't take longer than it should have. They just got in, got out. And finally, we have Do This Thing, which is the song that they sang at the Mathletes competition, which going into this, not knowing what the cut songs were ahead of time, I was absolutely anticipating this was still gonna be there because I remember thinking in real time, like, wow, they've cut almost all of the songs in act two. Surely Do This Thing is still gonna be in the film. But then after we got that Lindsay Lohan cameo, I'm like, oh, they're not doing the song. This scene is all about Lindsay, not the song. So because of the awesome Lindsay cameo, I'm fine with Do This Thing being cut. It's an average song to me. I didn't really miss it. I'm gonna give it a two out of five. Those are all the songs that were cut from the film. Where Do You Belong was the biggest loss for me with Fearless coming in second. And then the song I cared about the least was More Is Better. Tell me in the comments your thoughts on the cut songs and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.